So much fun, guys! It was uh, so much fun. And here we are, guys! Here we are. Yes, yeah. Thirty-nine minutes and forty-six point sixteen seconds. One up at uh, Targa Forio with the nineteen sixty-five mod without heights and with the realistic uh, damage. And here we are guys, winning uh, race number one of the evening with uh, Jaguar. And uh, here we are guys, winning the second race as well. Oh. Okay, head trick actually. My first head trick in a UK GTL. Absolutely awesome battle guys, for the victory. Yes, yes, such a great show. Almost, as I was, uh, I was not expecting that. Oh, such a great battle, Christo. Oh my God! Oh. I have no idea what happened here. I have no idea what happened there. I hit something, some car, some invisible car. Yes! Yes! Ah! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh boy! 
Oh, definitely the biggest victory in my sim racing career and the best driving in my sim racing career by far. And hello guys and uh, welcome to Turbo Racing. Uh, it's been a while since I have uh, streamed and uh, actually last I have streamed uh, on a Sunday. So it's time for some more great sim racing here on Turbo Racing. Tonight we will drive uh, GT Legends and we will continue our cup challenge uh, or the so-called uh, of course uh, GT Legends career mode. So guys let's not waste any more time. Let's go to the game and uh, let's uh, continue driving of course we are in cup stage e in the third championship uh, there so far we drove at donington park where we won uh, after that we went to mondeo park international third position for us uh, there uh, another victory at monza gp uh, means that uh, actually uh, we are leading the championship uh, uh, with uh, 26 points, 23 points for Peter uh, Mutzke, Dr. Armin Zumtubel in uh, third with uh, 20 uh, points. And guys, tonight it's uh, time for Zoder Dijon Prenois. And uh, if we have uh, time, maybe for uh, Nürburgring uh, GP. But first things uh, first, of course, we'll, we will continue with uh, De Tomaso Pantera. Uh, we will drive at professional difficulty damage at full, uh, no assists uh, and uh, AI at uh, expert. Uh, as always, the race land will be 20 laps and uh, we will have 18 opponents. And actually, guys, Zoder is one of my best circuits because uh, I have six online victories uh, in Zoder. And uh, actually the AI is uh, a little bit slow here, so to be fair guys, I am expecting uh, an easy victory for us. And for that reason I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make uh, too much of uh, preparation and uh, uh, especially when uh, I have a setup actually, because I have drove, uh, I have uh, drove uh, here before. So just one or two ups to... Uh, prepare ourselves and after that I'm gonna switch to the qualifying session. Meanwhile, uh, I forgot to start off the course of the processor. Just give me a second uh, guys for better frame rate. Okay, here we go. And actually, I'm gonna use the automatic clutch because the automatic clutch is saving the engine. From exploding. Yes, I don't need uh, too much of preparation. I know the circuit uh, so well. I have uh, maybe thousands of laps here with the different uh, games, with different cars as well. And the car was not happy about that. And actually, I think I'm ready, guys. In a moment, I'm gonna switch to the qualifying session.
Okay, I think this corner should be taken in a second gear. Let's go to the quali. Let's not waste any time. Hey, George, how are you? Yeah, the sound is uh, absolutely awesome and uh, the car handling is awesome as well. Actually, this is one of my favorite GT Legends uh, default uh, cars. Absolutely brilliant car. Very fast but very stable as well. Okay, here we are starting the first hot lap. Actually, the only problems I have are under under the bumps. The car became so very, very upset, and uh, some I have some problems on acceleration as well because of the power the car has. So nice to drive the car here. Great car and the track combination. Okay, let's see the time. 46.2. Let's make uh, one more wap just in case. And I think we will need more fuel for the race. some traffic which is not cool ok 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish that lap, and it's gonna be my only another lap. I think uh, this lap time is good for uh, to finish uh, somewhere at the top of the qualifying uh, session. No need to actually set some track records. We just need to be the fastest uh, cars. Uh, let's put some fuel meanwhile. Just uh, to be sure it's gonna be enough. Okay, let's make it 70. And uh, we are in first position. Let's accelerate the time. And let's see if uh, someone will actually catch us for the pole position. As I told you guys, the AI is not uh, at its uh, best in uh, this uh, circuit. So I'm expecting uh, that we will have a victory here. And uh, we will actually increase the lead at the championship. And guys, if we win this race, uh, I'm gonna start from last position at Dijon, the next race, just to make the things uh, more interesting uh, for you. And uh, yep, it's official, guys. We are taking the pole position, six tenths of the second faster than Zum, uh, Zum Tobel with the Porsche 906. Third position for Mutzke, the guy that is uh, just behind us in the championship uh, standings with his Ford Capri. RS and uh, don't forget he won the race at the uh, Mundell Park International. Fourth position for our teammate uh, Klaus Damgaard. Once again, let's take a look uh, at the fuel. Everything seems to be fine. Starting a little bit better, but uh, oh, someone hit me from behind. I think this was a dumb guard. My teammate just hit me from behind at the braking zone. And I'm losing so much, so many positions. Actually, guys, the AI are at their best. Uh, in sector number one, so it's totally normal that we lost uh, so many positions. But fortunately, it's still early, so I hope we can catch them. Guys, they totally suck in sectors 2 and 3. Oops, almost losing the car there on acceleration. And, uh, oh, our, our rival for the championship is uh, going to the pits. Something happened with him, I guess, damage. As we are up to fifth. So this means, uh, guys, Peter Mutzke is not gonna take uh, any points from this race. The winner of race number two. And actually... I think with uh, that performance, we can decide the championship a few races before the end. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Still in pit position, catching the guys in the 
4, 10, 13. Wow, the leader is 8 seconds ahead. Dr. Zoom to Bell. Now we need a little bit more pace to catch them. Maybe it's uh, not gonna be easy race, guys, as I as I was expecting. Especially if I'm making these uh, little mistakes. Take this dude, back on Istrium, with I think uh, Chevy Corvette. And up to fourth. Now the podium just ahead of us, Antonio Nogueira in third. You are driving so slow. Now just the two leaders are here of us as we are in WAP number four. They are at the chicane. on the grass.
your defense is the fastest card. can overtake him now on the start finish straight if we are close enough It's a nice race, though, even though they are, uh, they are definitely slower than me. trouble at first corner no grip at all there maybe I should try taking the corner in second gear the Capri ahead of me is much better there and especially in uh, sector number one
sorry buddy but you were so slow there at the braking and I'm gonna take second position away from you Okay, just a doctor. Armin soon to be ahead of us, guys. Ahead of uh, our another victory. He's driving Porsche. And I think I can catch him here. Yep, and we are taking the lead. Oh, actually, he's fighting back. Looks like his car is better at the corners. But I'm faster on the straights. Here we are starting what number 10 this time leading the race Don't, don't you even think about it, Porsche. Cutting a little bit. Meanwhile, the fastest swap is for Peter Mutzke, our championship uh, rival. And uh, let's not forget, he had to go to the pit at the end of lap number one, maybe because of uh, some damage. Jorge Ferreira now in second. Something happened with the Porsche.
no, 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 no. I forgot to downshift to third. And this happened. I'm back. I'm back down to third. And now just nine laps to go. Now I need to risk to overtake them. Like the Porsche will attack. And now we have a tri triple battle for the victory. Just eight laps to go. Yes, the Porsche is taking the lead. The problem is that as uh, I'm losing uh, time behind the Capri, the Porsche is uh, flying in first position. so fast in sector number one. Okay, Mark. I'm trying to be the AI here at Zodor. Okay, I think I can I can overtake the Capri here. Oh. Yes, successful. Success here. And now let's uh, take the first position away from the duck. Who's uh, in first position with uh, his uh, Ford? Uh, with his Porsche. Excuse me. As we have just six swaps to go, guys. Not much time. And the Porsche has uh, excellent acceleration, but we are much faster on the straights. I think uh, we can catch, the, uh, catch him now here at the straight. 
Or at least I'm gonna try. Yep. And we are retaking the first position, guys. Some decent late now. And actually, if I don't make a, a mistake, I think we will win this round number four of the championship. Unfortunately, the tires are in a okay condition, so I'm not expecting problems there. I just need to keep focus. This will be new personal best and maybe new fastest swap of the race as well. Nope, just personal. But it was a great lap. And once again I'm having problems here. At the sector number one.
and it looks like my newest uh, closest rival will be Dr. Armin Zuntobel as uh, Peter Mutzke it's not gonna score a point here but uh, let's first finish the race and after that we can take a look at the general standings after this uh, round uh, number four I got almost uh, losing the car there. But this car just don't want, don't like when I'm braking a little bit uh, later. It's becoming a problem. Oh my god. I was about to lose the first position in the penultimate lap.
and uh, here we are guys winning uh, round number four of the championship and uh, we will extend uh, our lead wonderful performance just few little mistakes uh, here and there and uh, we can be definitely delighted second position for Ferreira third position for Nowhere. Damgard about to finish in a fifth there he is and sixth position and final point for Schachinger let's take a look at the fastest uh, uh, whoops 46.4 from us and these are the new championship standings uh, guys we are leading with uh, 36 points second position for dr armin zoom to be with 28 23 for peter or peter muki or something like that pekan istrium in fourth uh, with just 13 uh, points Yes, uh, next we have Dijon Prenois GP. Once again, I think uh, we won't have too much of uh, trouble here because uh, the AI yeah, is just uh, not, not as fast as, uh, as uh, in other. Thank you, Mark, as uh, in other races. I'm gonna take the setup from a Monza and I'm gonna make just the two whoops just to see if the liters will be enough and guys as promised I'm gonna start this race from last position just to make it a little bit more challenging and uh, interesting uh, for you later on the braking It's totally normal, guys, that this Porsche is faster than us on the corners, but we will, we will be much faster here at the start finish straight as he touches me. Actually, it looks like the Porsche is not them much slower than me, actually. I'm much faster only at the straight. But as promised, guys. I will start from last position as 
we have decent late in the championship. I just want to take a look if the fuel will be enough. Oh, definitely it's gonna be enough. It's uh, too much, actually. Okay, I'm gonna start with 80 liters. I think 80 liters will be reasonable. Hmm, or actually not. There's uh, unfortunately some bug. And... Uh, I'm not sure how much fuel I need. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna start with uh, 100 uh, liters, but I think this is too much, uh, but it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, we are starting last at Zumtobel, our championship arrival starting from first position. Guys, second position for Schechinger with BMW, CSL, Ford Capri and uh, Mutske in third position. Togo with BMW, CSL in fourth. It looks like the BMWs are very fast here. Porsche 911 fourth sides in fifth. Damgard in uh, sixth. We are starting uh, back down in a uh, 19th uh, position. Uh, last check on the was the check on the setup and uh, we are going once again guys 20 whoops let's have some fun we want to be a little bit careful on the start Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Dmitri. I hope we can have a great racing. Oh, just touching the curb, it's not a good idea. And we are still in last position. But I think uh, now the climbing starts. Let's start uh, winning some positions. As, uh, the eyes are very slow at the beginning every time. But after what number one, they will start to be much better. It's not gonna be that easy, guys, for us to clinch another victory. Yes, I'm going very careful. I don't want any spins or contacts with the other drivers. And now on the straight, we will kill them. Just uh, watch, watch now, guys. We have uh, pure power. Up to 11th. happened there. Damgard once again with problems. The yellow uh, car. He's having contacts every lap actually guys. This guy is just uh, nuts. Hey Kyle. Yeah such a beast. Nothing can compare in GT Legends with the raw power of uh, De Tomaso Pantera.
Yeah, Dijon is such a great circuit. One of my favorite circuits, actually. Uh, I'm not sure Porsche is uh, better. I think De Tomaso is uh, overall better, especially uh, at uh, circuits where we have long straights. Oh, Damgard with another mistake. These guys just don't know how to drive uh, the powerful De Tomaso, as you can see. Yes, meanwhile, the Corvette is uh, fighting with me here on the corners. So maybe I need a little bit more pace, guys. If I want to finish in top 6 and to take uh, at least one point. I'm sure, Kayo, you love Dijon because it's so much fun with the GP Legends, Grumpy Legends. I can imagine how how great it is to drive uh, the 69X mod here. Should be absolute, uh, absolutely awesome. I won't be surprised. there. Okay, we are now in our territory. The fastest uh, Start finish straight. Oh, Dijon Prenois is uh, one of the greatest uh, French, uh, French circuits and uh, my second favorite French circuit after Clermont Ferrand. It's so much fun, especially when you have such a powerful car like mine. You're flying on the straights, but you have to be very careful on the corners. And especially on the curbs, as you can see, I'm having trouble there. It's such a shame that uh, the AI are not optimized well here at Dijon. Actually, as fast the circuit is, as slower the AI is. And we're up to, up into the points, guys. Fifth position. After just five laps. Meanwhile, Pekka Nistrion, who is uh, always 
at the leading positions. He's having some trouble as well. Down to 16th position. Maybe contact there for him. Yeah, I think we will win the race actually because, uh, as I said, the AI just are not optimized uh, well for these uh, circuits. Circuits uh, like uh, the previous uh, circuit we drove, Zolder, and here at uh, Dijon Prenois. that guy but uh, there was nothing I can do he was he just start breaking so early so earlier than me are very fast here. And meanwhile guys, if you enjoy the content, don't forget you can hit the like, you can share the link with your friends, you can join the conversation and of course if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more future sim racing. I'm streaming almost every night and in my video library you can find more than 400 sim racing videos. So you definitely don't want to miss the future of turbo racing. Click that subscription button. As we are up to 4 still 13 watts to go by the way this uh, BMW behind me is so beautiful I like these uh, red stripes at the center of the, of the body I think during my career mode I never drove a BMW CSL so far, which is a shame. That car is uh, really good, fast on the straights and uh, very stable on the corners. Of course not as fast as De Tomaso or Ford GT40, but uh, it's okay. Now I think we will take at least one position as we are just flying on the straights. Yeah, second position now. Oh, don't hit me buddy. I know you can break uh, later than me but please don't hit me. Yeah, 
it's definitely much faster and I'm not sure <laughs> this was the best choice I can make because now the championship is, is uh, too easy for me even though the AI they are not uh, slow they are not slow they are just uh, inconsistent and with maybe with uh, a slower car I was not gonna uh, I was not going to have any chance of winning the championship but with De Tomazo Pantera it's, it's actually easy to do that Oh my god, he's gonna overtake me from outside Take there. Actually, I'm surprised how fast the Capri is on the straights. I was expecting they will be much slower. But as you can see, this is not the case. Just slower than the De Tomaso, the car I'm driving. Guys, I'm gonna start from last position at uh, the next uh, race as well in uh, Nürburgring. And there I think the AI will be uh, more challenging because we don't have uh, that many straights. And there you need uh, more grip than, uh, uh, than straight uh, pace. Than top speed, excuse me. Wow, the Capri going really well just behind me. I was not expecting that. Especially on the corners. It's definitely faster than me. And just uh, a little bit slower. Uh, on the straights. Yeah, in Nürbur the, the motor Nürburgring has two straights, but they are very short. They are very short.
Well, guys, that was the card. If uh, you are curious how De Tomaso Pantera looks. It's so beautiful. I'm not sure, but uh, I think De Tomaso Pantera De Tomaso is an uh, Italian manufacturer. Correct me, guys, if I'm wrong. At least uh, the name is uh, Italian De Tomaso. And uh, so far we are one, two, three. We are uh, one wap up, then five drivers. Maybe they've made the mistakes. This has to be the case because we didn't uh, overtake anyone by by a uh, wap. Uh, it means if we go down to 0%, the engine will explode. So we must be careful with the engine health. This is how GD Legends uh, works. When the engine is uh, going down to 0%, it's just uh, exploding. And uh, you can't uh, continue the race anymore. Nope, it's not losing power, it's the same power at the 1% and the 100%. It only loses uh, everything actually if you are down to 0%. But uh, even if you are running at the 100%, if you hit something very hard, you can go straight down to 0% and uh, Wall the engine. So engine can can explode because of uh, awareness and because of uh, contact with another car or or with a barrier, tire or something like that. the focus just five more watts but as you can see they are just 1.5 seconds behind me and actually if I won this race the championship will be practically uh, won by us even though it's not gonna be mat mathematically won but uh, practically in theory it's gonna be won
Actually, no, I don't play Project Cars because I don't have it. But uh, from what I know, Project Cars is a little bit arcade, arcade-ish. So for that reason, I don't think I'm, I'm ever gonna buy it. But who knows? If the channel becomes bigger and bigger and there are requests for project cars maybe I, I can buy the first and the second uh, games but not the third because the third is total arcade Wow, Zoom to Bell. Zoom to Bell up to second and something happened with Mutske. Once again, he's down from second to sixth. As you can see, guys, our rivals in the championship, they are so inconsistent. Which is great news for us, but uh, it's making the championship uh, a little bit too easy, in my opinion. Soon to Bell making the fastest swap of the race just behind me. Now just uh, less than a second behind. Let's be careful. He's showing some muscle at the end of the race. starting the final lap of round number 5 and guys don't go anywhere because there will be one more race tonight at the Newburgh Ring once again I'm gonna start from the last position just to make the things a little bit more interesting He's chasing us. Fortunately, we are faster on the straights. So basically, if I don't make a mistake, there's uh, no chance he's gonna overtake me. 
Uh, so we are now less than a kilometer before the end of the race. Just two more corners. And uh, here we are, guys, winning round number five uh, as well. And uh, if we win round uh, number six at New York Ring, I think we, we will be the champions two rounds before the end of the championship because our lead to the second uh, guy in the championship standings will be at least uh, 20 points. And uh, you know that uh, for a victory uh, in the race, you are rewarded by 10 points so if you win next uh, round we will be the championship winners uh, or oh actually we are just 10 points ahead of uh, zoom to bell uh, but uh, guys it's official we will actually we will be able to uh, continue to the next championship because uh, we cannot go uh, we cannot go um, down to fourth position in, in the worst uh, in the worst scenario we will finish at least in third position and uh, if you finish in top three in every championship uh, you are actually completing the championship so the hard work work is uh, done now let's see if we can win the championship just uh, three rounds to go we are leading by 10 points and in theory, if we win here at uh, uh, Nürburgring and uh, our arrival, Dr. Tsumtubel, don't score a point, actually we will be the championship uh, winners. And uh, once again, guys, just uh, two ups, just to see the, the fuel usage. Okay, guys, I think uh, actually I'm just gonna put uh, 80 liters into the tank and uh, we will be definitely ready for the start of the race. I know the circuit uh, really well, so there's uh, no need to uh, no need to practice. Tsumto Bell once again taking the pole position with uh, his Porsche 906, second position for Zeitz or sides, third and fourth positions for the BMW team, uh, Schachinger and uh, Togo, Damgard with uh, De Tomaso Pantera in uh, fifth, he is always fast uh, during the qualifying uh, uh, sessions uh, guys, but he is always making mistakes, meanwhile Mutzke down to seventh position, it looks like the Capri, uh, it's not gonna be uh, much, much, much fast here at uh, Nürburgring uh, ring and uh, we are starting from a last 19th uh, position Be careful at the first corner. You know that in uh, racing games, the AI are totally unpredictable.
Okay, up to 14. Good start for us. Let's be. We just need to be careful. No need to hurry. Once again, we are definitely very fast. This, sh this Chevy has such a beautiful livery. Actually, the American flag. But as you can see guys, the AI, uh, they are definitely better than they were at the Dijon Prenois. So this time, it's not gonna be easy for us to win the race. of a dumb guard once again. Very late on the braking. Fortunately able to overtake our teammate. And we are up to ninth.
now we have Ferreira with just 3.7 seconds ahead in 8th position it's still very early guys we still can do it we still can win that race Seventeen more uh, whoops. But at least it's gonna be so interesting. We are fighting with everyone. And we are making the fastest whoop. Just one more position and we will enter the points. Yeah, we are faster than the leader. And with that pace we should be able to catch him before the end of the race. But it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna be as easy as uh, it was at uh, Dijon. Here the AI is definitely faster. Uh, but guys, it's not gonna be a, uh, the end of the world for us if we don't win this race. Because we still will have solid the lead in the championship even though Tsum Tubel is uh, leading and he is our main rival The Chevy struggling at that corner. Okay, seventeen point five from the leader. 
we are faster, it's gonna be 16.5 point three actually from us, so we are 1.2 seconds faster than the leader. We have the required third pace. We just need to be consistent. stuff 17.3 from the leader once again he's very consistent and I'm gonna be a little bit slower it's gonna be 17.5 from us yep Good news is we are in fifth position. everything actually guys because the leader is very very fast I'm not sure we can catch him but we will give our best can't make the cup less than 10 seconds Sixteen point seven from the leader, guys. He's very fast, but I'm a little bit faster as well. Fifteen point nine, eight tenths of the second faster than him. Oh boy, it's gonna be so close. With the that pace, we have the chance to catch him somewhere at the end of the race. But he's, he has a clear track 
And the, I need to overtake two more cars. Actually, it's not a stupid uh, question, and uh, this is uh, controlled by the damper of the car. Uh, and by a damper, I mean uh, bound, uh, excuse me, bump and rebound. But yep, the tires, if the tires are in terrible condition, this can, this can be a problem as well. But mostly, this is uh, controlled by the car's uh, dumper, bump and uh, rebound. And uh, if I'm not wrong, it's controlled by front uh, slow bump and uh, rear slow rebound. And if you want more stable car on braking, you need to make the front slow bump uh, higher than the rear slow rebound. And uh, if you want your car to be a little bit more lively on braking, you do totally the opposite. Lower number of uh, front uh, slow bump and a higher number of uh, low, uh, uh, of uh, rear slow rebound. Okay, up to third, guys, up to third. Oh, not the best uh, braking there. And okay, now, fortunately, we have clear track ahead of us. Okay, not the best the first sector. Now I'm just gonna start pushing a little bit uh, harder. We can afford that. And actually we don't have anything to lose if we want to win that race. I need a little bit more pace. tires a little bit faster so maybe we need uh, some kind of uh, compromise uh, here 16.8 from the leader oh my god he's just flying Dr. Armin Zundubel and 17.24 tenths and slower
Well, actually, I don't uh, understand uh, setting up the car the perfect way either. Even though I'm driving uh, sim racing for 14 years now. There are just so many things about setting up the car. The key here is to understand uh, what every part in the setup is doing. And uh, when you know that, you will be able to understand what you want from the car and how to make it uh, uh, to go your way. Okay, 17.4 from him. He's a little bit uh, slower this time. 16.3 from us so we are 1.2 seconds faster oh almost losing the car there guys you saw that because of the bumps Because uh, I downshifted to first and we were going on high refs. Okay, 8.8 .8 now, still 9 watts to go. Sixteen point seven from him, and uh, fifteen point seven from us so we are 1.1 seconds faster no problems for the Porsche as well so this is uh, my chance to overtake him but it's not gonna happen here question is how much time we will lose behind the Porsche this will be vital
Okay, okay, yes. Perfect for us. And now just the leader, guys. Just the leader ahead of us. Seven point nine seconds. Sixteen point six. He's going to once again very fast. And sixteen point four. Yep, sixteen point four from us. But now we have. circuit and the uh, eight laps to go There he is, 6.4 now. Not the best lap for him. Point three, very very bad lap for him, and 16.0 from us, 2.2 seconds faster than him. There he is. so far guys we are just flying Gap is down to 3.7. Six laps to go. We have all the chances in the world of taking another victory.
Oh, a 19.0 from him. He's very, very slow. Overall, <laughs> this mistake is because of you. <laughs> Not the best of first sector. Point four, but just uh, five laps to go, guys. The good news is sir, uh, he's in traffic, and actually the the AI is not as as its best when they need to overtake someone with uh, one lap. So another advantage for us. But this one was not good. 18 points to 1.2 seconds lower than him. so far Yeah, the engine is uh, only at 25, but we will make it. Wow, just three point. Uh, Five seconds, but just four laps to go, guys. It's gonna be so close.
Then two seconds now. Three laps to go. Almost, almost out of tires. This car is accelerating so well, the Porsche, but we are the kings of the straights. Okay, maybe now it's our chance on the straight to overtake him for the victory. Oh, but he's accelerating so well. Out of the corner. Uh, there was opportunity for diving, but uh, I was not brave enough. Got the engine down to 18 percent.
there's no effect actually. The only effect is uh, if you go down to 0%. If you go down to 0%, you will uh, your engine will blow. But there's no difference in power between 1% and 100 percent go 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 now i think now we will catch him at the beginning of the last lap Smart. Oh my God, he's so fast at the corners. Better exit here. No, ah, he's just so fast at the corners. Oh, my God, I think it's over. I'm going to dive bomb here. Oh boy, it's not fair play, but I'm gonna take it. No, no. Ah, guys, I gave everything, but he just uh, had the better tires uh, at the end. So we will finish the day in second position in race uh, number three or round number five of the evening, or it was sixth. I'm not sure. Such a great uh, sim racing with the AI. Oh boy, I gave everything guys, I gave everything, I'm sweating actually. But they were, uh, uh, Dr. Armin Tumtubel was just too fast at the end. I, I, I thought we, we got him a few times at the breaking for corner number one of the last lap. And after that, at the end of the last lap at the chicane, I thought we got him once again. But he was just having just a little bit more traction under acceleration and under cornering and because of that i was unable to take the uh, first position meanwhile nugueira with escort he's uh, taking the fastest lap of the race second position here for uh, klaus damgaard our teammate and third position for us and uh, before we can go let's take a look at the championship standings it's gonna be so so interesting two rounds to go guys two rounds to go we are leading uh, uh dr armin tium to bell with uh, eight points and uh, in the worst case scenario we will finish uh, uh the championship in second position so guys no matter what happens in the next two rounds uh we will complete this championship because in order to complete uh, the championship uh, you need to finish in a uh, top three and we will be definitely at least in second uh, position two more rounds uh, to go guys at spa frank or uh, the first one and the last round will be at uh, imua but uh, <laughs> i think i'm gonna i'm gonna actually uh, i'm gonna this time uh, i'm gonna Take part in the qualifying sessions because, guys, I don't want to 
lose the championship. So at least at Spa I'm gonna take part in the qualifying session. And uh, if we are the champions after Spa, I'm gonna skip the qualifying session for Imua. But we are still leading. 8 points, it's uh, not... It's not a bad uh, lead to have just two rounds uh, to go. So, eight points are eight uh, points. And even, even, uh, even if uh, Tsumtu Bell finishes with the same amount of points with, with uh, me, we will be the champions uh, because this is how GT Legends works. If you are level on points with the AI, GT Legends actually gives you uh, advantage on the championship. So, if we are level with the Tsum to Bell, we will be still the champions. So, this means he needs, uh, he needs to make at least uh, 9 points more than us in the final two championship uh, rounds. And uh, it's gonna be interesting, but I'm not sure the Porsche will be at its best at Spa Francorchamps and uh, uh, at uh, Imua on the final round of the championship. And guys, after this championship, we have the Short Track Mash Championship. This time it's gonna be just 6 rounds and just 15 laps on the shortest uh, circuits at uh, GT Legends uh, Monza Junior, Hockenheim Short, Nürburg uh, Ring, uh, Mühlenbach, Understorp South, Manicur Club and Mondeo Park Short. So, uh, maybe we can make this championship in just uh, one video. After that, the penultimate championship. 10 laps only at 4 circuits. It's called Midnight Racers. 10 laps at Imua, Dijon Prenua GP, Donington Park GP and the Nürburgring GP. And uh, we will finish the GT Legends uh, career mode, the so-called Cup Challenge, with the Endurance uh, Classics. And we will have two rounds, but every round will be 60 laps long, guys, at Monza GP and the Spa Francorchamps GP. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the race at Spa will be actually three hours, because uh, one, one lap around spa is around three seconds, uh, three minutes, guys. So the race will be around uh, between two hours and a half and three hours. The race at the Monza will be around two hours. So maybe I'm gonna have two, di uh, two uh, episodes for each of uh, these uh, championship circuits. But we still need to fight for the championship gold here at the FIA GTC uh, TC76 uh, championship. Just uh, two more rounds to go. And once again, we are leading Dr. Armin Tsumtu Bell and his Porsche 906 with 8 uh, points. And uh, it's gonna be very, very interesting. Come. Uh, absolutely sure about uh, that and guys uh, if you enjoyed the content uh, don't forget you can hit the like button you can share the link with your friends so more people can know about me about the channel and about the great sim racing we have here of course you can join the conversation if you are watching this on replay and if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you definitely don't want to miss the future of turbo racing we are just uh, starting uh, I'm streaming almost every night and in my video library you can find more than 400 sim racing videos for you to enjoy. So guys, you definitely don't want to miss the future. Just click that subscribe button. Uh, and guys, of course, if you love my content and you want to help me grow the channel, you can do that by making a donation throughout Patreon, PayPal, Streamwaps and donation alerts. You can take a look at Turbo Racing's merchandise. Just click on the first link in the description. And for the best games with the best discounts, totally legal, click on the last link in the description. And for more news about me and the channel, you can follow me on social media at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord and Twitch. <laughs> so guys, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time. Happy racing everybody and bye.